Ooh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Back to another video brought to you by your boy Too Ironic. Top 10 scary zodiac signs. Now I click this because you know I am the king. I am a Leo. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you want to see what your you know your sign is too. So let's watch the video. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully it's not nothing too crazy, nothing like those. Get straight into it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what are, um what other reactions I should do. Please be lit. Don't be trash. You will not get a response. Let's get it. Look Another out. Zodiac video. Here we go. Sad. I'm so excited. The more Zodiac videos I do, the more I feel like I'm becoming a professional in all things astrology related. I know that's not complete facts, but just humor me on this one, guys. Some signs are known to be fiery, passionate, if you will, like Aries, Leo, Taurus. You don't want to get on the bad side of any of those signs. Some are a lot more Look calm, out. like Geminis and Capricorns, but I mean, Zodiacs are always a mixed bag. What is up, you guys? Hope you're having an awesome day. I'm your host, Amen. Is that Mia Khalifa, bro? Let me find out. You know what I'm Get all type of anime. Hassan, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are talking about the top 10 scary zodiac signs when angry. Starting us off at number 10 is Aries, and that is you if your birthday is between March 21st and April 19th. My ex coming in at number 9 is Taurus, which is you if you were born between April 20th and May 20th. I was honestly surprised Taurus was so high up on the list because I know a few myself, and although they are hyper emotional oh. beings, I haven't seen any get particularly angry. Yeah. Whenever my best friend leaves, Leanne gets angry, she's a Taurus. She just starts crying angry tears. And I'm like, do I comfort her? Do I get out of her way? Is she gonna get angrier if I hug her? I don't know what to do. First things first, Taurus is represented by the bull, meaning they have an explosive, violent, and obsessive sort of anger. The sign is as stubborn as it gets, but to be fair, they only get mad when it's actually necessary. Little things don't mean sh to them, it's the deep things they actually care about. And it's not like they want to explode, they'll try to keep it in for as long as possible, giving you subtle hints that, you know, I'm a a little bit angry. The silent treatment, the cold shoulder, and when that doesn't work, it's volcanic eruption time. Taurans may They forgive, but they definitely don't forget. When the sign goes off, and believe me, they will, they'll be pulling receipts out of their ass about you said at 4 p.m. on Friday the 8th, four well, years ago. Is over, man. Can't, can't be having that. At number oh, 8, we have Sagittarius. Another fire sign. These babies are born between November 22nd and December 21st. I mean, according to NASA, though, are you really a Sagittarius or are you an Ophiuchus? I hate that word. I just don't want that to be a zodiac because it's so man. hard to say. Like, none of the other zodiacs are hard to say. Ophiuchus. Come on! Give me a break! Either way, this sign is honestly usually very sweet and calm, but they're also a ticking time bomb. As nice as they are, when they're in a bad mood or they get pissed, they will burn the house down. If a Sagittarius is actually taking the time to pick a fight with you, there is no backing down. This sign... explode in a way you'll never forget taking everything in their path down with them. This sign gets nasty and says just about anything to you. Some have even described this sign as a monster when angry and one that is the most likely to resort to a physical assault, but that's very rare. They will continuously one-sidedly lecture you until you see their side or at least pretend to just so they shut up. Filling out number 7 slot are Geminis. Born between May 21st and June 20th, the twin air sign loves to talk, which makes their anger the most vocal one. My dad's a Gemini and he's such a calm being who rarely ever gets angry, so I'm like, what? Either way, no. if a Gemini is angry at you, expect a whole load of stubborn shouting coming your way and no listening to reason. This sign can tend to get anxious and agitated and that energy morphs into anger when they don't know how to go about a situation. But the sign is known for having two sides to them. If they're not screaming at you, they may just be sitting there cool-headed, marinating in their anger and just coming for your jugular by calmly insulting you and ending your friendship. So either they're angry or they're calm and conniving like Jekyll and Hyde and I want neither of those options. Sometimes they just keep running their mouths and they don't even remember the point they're trying to make anymore. Like, don't worry, I'm gonna let you finish, but what is your point? Now at number six is Libra, meaning if your birthday falls between September 23rd and October 22nd, you are this air sign. Dubbed the peacekeepers of the zodiacs, Libras are super- easy going and try to have harmony and balance in their lives as much as possible. This sign hates confrontation more than anything and 
Did she just get? Did she just give August? Am I tweaking? And I got hit with that. Oh God. And will try to not engage for as long as possible before they Bro, do engage in the bloody believe. warfare. Anger is an unattractive emotion to most Librans. Girl. It just doesn't go with their overall charming mm. brand, you know what I mean? They try and act holier than thou and above it all, but they do lose their cool as well. Libras have this annoying way of justifying literally everything they do, including when they're having a meltdown, like chill, dude, daddy, chill. This sign is a natural lawyer and do not lose arguments easily and know exactly what platform each person is standing on and how to knock the the person well off their pedestal. Coming in at number five is Cancer. With birthdays falling between June 21st and July 22nd, this water sign has an expressive kind of anger. They're very sensitive and maternal, so no one really fears this sign, but you know what they say, the crab has quite a painful pinch. Now at first, they'll just sulk around. If no one gives them attention, they'll turn to more passive aggressive methods before going into their protective shells and crying. When angry, Cancerians are literally adult babies who will throw a tantrum when they feel like they're being excluded, taken advantage of, or are being underappreciated. But when they make it rain, they let it pour that's been building up for years will come out and at some point you'll be like, is this even relevant to the argument? But you also feel too guilty to ask them that, so you'll just kind of be standing there like, <laughs> okay? Yeah, now the bad oh, thing about Cancerians sorry. is that they also take a really long time to cool down. They're very comfortable with their feelings and are an empathetic sign, meaning it's also easy for them to take on the emotions of people around them and get pissed off on other people's behalf. Personally, yeah, they dwell like on the past a lot, which can be pretty intense, and they make themselves upset over imaginary scenarios. That's called an overthinker. I am a huge overthinker, so I get, I get you, boo. At number four is Pisces. Born between February 19th and March 20th, this water zodiac in particular is a vulnerable and emotional one. They're deeply emotional, literally always in their feelings and not in the good way, not like Kiki, and they can't take constructive criticism for sh Pisceans rarely get angry, but when they do, they're outright horrifying to be around. They rage, and instead of lashing out at others, they become self-destructive and violent, and their minds are thinking of the most dramatic scenarios. This is all because they try and internalize their anger until it spirals into self-doubt and frustration. This sign takes everything personally, but isn't dramatic about it, thank God. Instead, they'll just put a very specific kind of revenge that involves emotionally manipulating you. It's very victim mentality with the Pisces. Filling at number three slot are score. Scorpios. Honestly, I thought this sign was unfairly stereotyped because no one likes scorpions and that really spills over onto the likeliness of the sign, but I don't think it was as unfair as I first thought. Born between October 23rd and November 21st, this water sign has a brutal source of anger. This sign feels emotions on a very deep level, meaning their anger runs deep as well. Scorpios really don't get angry very easily or often, but when they do, they still try to keep... Nothing stays hidden from me. Nothing. Keep it in. They use silence as their deadliest weapon. This sign doesn't forgive, they do not forget, and more importantly, they don't let the issue go. There is no letting go. A furious Scorpio will destroy you emotionally and continue eating McDonald's for lunch like nothing even bloody happened. While your dignity is just on the floor. And you're just picking up the pieces. Scorpios hold grudges. They will be on their deathbed and bring up the time you unplugged their phone when it was on 4% charge. Let it go, man. It was five years ago. This sign will be so angry and won't even know it because it'll be so passive aggressive at first, but when the stinger comes out, it comes out. You know, stinger, scorpion, come on. Now at number two are Leos. My sign. My sign. Honestly, I rue our feistiness and the fact that we are little just balls of fury. Born between July 23rd and August 22nd, it is currently Leo season, aka everyone's favorite season. It's our time to shine, babies. Let's go. As fire signs, Leos are dramatic as hell. Tell me my facts, man. Just start playing with me. And they are dominant. I can attest to that 100%. I'm so bloody dramatic. If I don't get what I want, I sometimes just legit pretend to die. It's quite funny, actually. Other people don't think so. Now, Leo's anger is more rage than it is anger, and it's all noise. The louder we get, the better a point we think we're making, when that's really not true. This sign is a true hothead, and when they're angry, they believe with every fiber of their being that they are right, and they will not back down. We will go to embarrassing lengths to prove we are right and you are wrong. Admitting they're wrong is just not in their vocabulary. Why would it be? It never happens. We're Leos. <laughs> Can you see why I'm such a problematic sign? Like, oh my god. Leo 
Leos also like to be hurtful and will resort to personally insulting the person they're angry at just to establish superiority. I don't personally do this one, but as a Leo, I can understand others who would. We definitely don't mind forgiving someone and our anger subsides rather quickly, but apologizing, I don't know about that. We don't know about that now. The lions, so you know, it really is a roaring type of anger. And finally, Animal One are Capricorns. With birthdays between December 22nd and January 19th, my family is full of Capricorns. My mum and both my sisters are December 22nd and January 19th. My family is full of Capricorns. My mum and both my sisters are Capricorns and as a Leo, my mum and I tend to butt heads quite often. I just need to know when to shut up, but I simply don't. Capricorns are a nice earth sign. They're hardworking, maternal people who don't get triggered and angry often. They What the fuck? This sign is the- What is August 24th? I'm genuinely confused, my nigga. Genuinely. My birthday is August 24th. Somebody, somebody do some research for me. Let me know in the comment section below, please.